Okay, the glue is all set up uh, on the panel here, so all of these are all glued in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut some channels for some wiring. I'm going to start up here in this corner here. Remember, this is where the side marker light is going to go, and this is where the wire comes through. Um, so the wires run up here in this area between the, uh, between the headliner and the roof. So the wires will come through here, so I need to cut a channel right here. So uh, this is how I do it. Pretty straightforward. Just a matter of cutting the, the foam out. And when I get this out of here, you may notice that the foam, that the glue is not completely set underneath, or it's possible anyway. Uh, that's not unusual. It takes a little while to set up underneath this foam, so. Well, this one's really stuck in there. There we go. And I'll come back with a vacuum and get all of this, these little pieces out of there. Yeah, there we go. So there you can see the hole right there where it comes through. And then uh, the wire will just run down inside that channel. Now I'm ready to uh, cut the one for the, uh, the center section. Remember, here's a porch light that's going to be on the outside of the tear gut, which is on the other side here. So this is like the little electrical box for that. There's where the penetration comes through the frame from the, uh, the roof system. And then right here I'm going to have a switch. And this is the little switch that I'm going to have. So I need a little depth. So I'm probably going to have to build it up a little bit on the inside. But I need a little electrical box right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my Forstner bit. And I'm going to drill it right there. And not go too far in. Okay, that's probably enough. So now what I'm going to do is I've got a little piece of PVC here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a or cut a groove in the insulation and lay this PVC in there. And this basically acts as a wiring chase that allows me to pull these wires through on this this long run uh, a little easier. It also protects the wires in case I nail something to the wall or or do something on the wall here that uh, that uh, where I could pierce the wires because once they're they're in there. And everything's buttoned up it's going to be really hard to, to pull wires through there again so uh, anyway so I will go ahead and uh, uh, cut that channel but first I'm going to clean up a little bit here's my PVC I'm going to have to trim it off a little bit it's a little bit long make a mark so I generally know what I'm doing here And start cutting. Now I try to cut a kind of a V. Now that's not deep enough, so I'll continue to cut out foam until uh, until I can fit that in there. And it's coming along. Cut out a little more on this side. OK, 
Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's laid in there, and I will go ahead and glue that in with uh, some uh, construction adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off a little bit. Uh, I need to make a pocket here because I'm going to have wire that goes down to the switch, comes back up to the light, and then back out. So I'm going to cut this pocket. And I'm also going to mark this for cutting. So I'm thinking that I'll cut it about right there. Okay, there's my piece that's been cut to length. I'm just going to cut out some of this bone right here. So that'll allow my wire to go in here like that and go down. All right. Okay, so the next thing to do is to run some string in here, some pull strings, um, which I'll uh, go ahead and do. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is just take the string, push it through here. And then it'll go out through there. That's the hole where the wires go out. And then what I'm going to do is take a little tape. And tape it to the outside. And we'll lay in there. And tape it in here. And cut that off. So now I've got a pull string. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little tape and just lay it here on the top. What this will do is this will just keep that, that'll just, uh, when I glue the, the, the other panel on here, that'll keep that string from falling down into the glue and getting stuck. Um, so um, now the glue won't stick to that either, but that's okay. It, it's uh, just, just a little bit there. So just wanted to make sure that that's all taken care of like that. So I'll show you how I do the other one too. String. So I thread my string through there. Push my string through the conduit. Okay, now this one, I will tape up right here, and then there's another string that I'll pull into this uh, right there where the porch light will be. And that'll come out here. And you put a little tape on the back side of that one. That's getting a little heavy.
Now, for this end, I'll just take the string and kind of wind it around in here. So when I cut the hole on the inner panel, which will be right here, uh, cut the hole on the inner panel. This just allows me to reach in there and grab that string, hopefully. I'll take a little tape and cover that up quite enough. So I just want to make sure that that doesn't get yanked out of there. And I'll do the same thing up here. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this in and then uh, we'll be done with this thing. Okay, so that should be protected. A little tiny little bit more right there. So when I glue it all up, uh, everything should be uh, protected and we're ready to go. Now, you'll remember on this back one here, so this is where the back running light is. I also cut a, a, a hole in here when I made it. Well, I've since uh, modified the design a little bit, which I'll be showing you in a little while, but uh, this can come straight through into a cabinet. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I just make sure that I have on my pattern um, that I've on my pattern, I've marked exactly where that's going to come through. So uh, that's it for today.